Newsweek's coming up. The autism story on Newsweek. You know, I learned in Newsweek that there are some, some elements of the of the uh, autism community are actually trying to make a deal with uh, Joe Barton over this Combating Autism Act. Even though Mr. Barton's not going to be the chairman of this committee come January. What's up with that? So, well, I, I, I don't know. You know. Well, uh, they they want to agree to 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 uh, not specify uh, any particular dollar amount of money that will be devoted toward uh, uh, environmental research when they give the money to the uh, NIH and let the NIH decide that. Well, that was the whole point of the uh, Combating Autism Act, the bill that went through the Senate, was that there was a specific amount, mm -hmm. and in some cases specific environmental uh, factors that they would investigate, mm -hmm. that would mandate the NIH do that. And, of course, Joe Barton didn't, didn't want that because, well, we know why he doesn't want that. Because, it, you know, if you're supported by chemical companies and some of these other folks... Why, suit your agenda. <laughs> right, and then they, uh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't think they needed any centers of excellence. Uh, the Combat and Autism Act that went through the Senate and would would have passed in the House, by the way, and would pass next year in about two or three months. Uh, called for 21 centers of excellence. He's cut that to three. And uh, why they would negotiate with him is, I mean, it's like you know, I didn't mind helping these folks take the ball down the field to the five yard line, but it's. You know, there's plenty of time left, and they're kicking a field goal on first down. <laughs> however, across. however, I don't have an autistic child, and uh, they do. And I don't have uh, the family dynamic to endure that they do. And so while it's easy to criticize them, and I can understand how they, you know, they, they, they're afraid, and they're, they're lobbyists who are, by the way, lobbyists are just, the, the, whatever the person is that murders children, lobbyists are one notch above that. They tell them that uh, well, they won't get another, won't couldn't get a new bill through for a year or two, which of course is not true. But anyway, it's, I'm reluctant to criticize these people because um, man, they, it's like it's like the parents of kids with cancer. I know I, I know there are people in the aut autism community who actually say, well, well, autism is a lot worse than cancer. <laughs> well. No, it's not. Uh, so cancer's not any worse, but but having a child with cancer, often they die, or it so disrupts their lives that it, they're, they're never the same, and it creates the same chaos in the family dynamic as it does in these autism families. So, um, but God bless them. I, I, you know, it's it's a shame they're caving in on this, but um, what are you going to do? You know, it's a hard oh, road no they're on, man. Yeah. Thank God we're not walking it ourselves. Jesus. No. And Newsweek did a fine story, although you would think they would know better, uh, meet them and all of them. But there's one line in this story uh, about autism. The, the gist of the story is who's gonna, what's going to happen to these kids when they grow up and their parents die? Who's going to pay for all this? Here's a line they just stuck in their story. As knowledge about autism spread in the 1990s, families began to get more accurate diagnosis for children who might, uh, <coughs> who might have, uh, my glasses, who might in the past have been labeled mentally retarded or emotionally disturbed. That's not true. March of Dimes tell you that the diagnosis for mental retardation hasn't gone down at all. And if this is true, then, wh then well, how come they don't go out and re-diagnose all of these mentally retarded people or, or, uh, or, or emotionally disturbed people as autistic? Where are all the 20 or 25-year-old autistics? That's not, why, that's not why the rates in autism skyrocketed. And they're also, in spite of what anybody wants to believe, a gnat would understand that there's no such thing as a genetic epidemic. So... There are people in the autism community who don't want to spend any money on environmental research. They want to look for this magic gene. Well, but again, you know, why beat them up? They're, they got enough to worry about. 29 after. <laughs>